Hi there, Charles Flock here with the Virgin Olive Oiler. And today, uh, I'm gonna show you how we make our extra virgin olive oil soap right here in the shop. All natural and organic ingredients. And um, so I think we should just go ahead and get started. So we start with three fats. The number one fat is gonna be our certified ultra premium extra virgin olive oil. This one right here, I chose an Oji Blanca coming out of Spain. It's fantastic oil. It is, again, the same oils that we sell, offer right here in the shop. This is not like a cheaper quality olive oil. Extra virgin coconut oil and African shea butter. And this African shea butter, we use this for good moisturizing um, aspect to our soap because shea butter is non-saponifiable, so it doesn't turn to soap, it just spreads throughout the entire mixture. And so we just put, we've got our coconut oil already in the pan, and we're gonna put our shea butter in here, and then we're just gonna turn on the heat, and we're gonna render these fats. Well, now that we've got our coconut oil and shea butter completely melted, we're gonna go ahead and add it into our extra virgin olive oil. It's still fairly hot, so be careful while you pour. If you ever make your own soap, you'll know what I'm talking about. Making soap is very much like doing baking and pastries. You have to be very exact on your measurements. Otherwise, your soap doesn't turn out. All right, so now that we've got all of our fats mixed together, um, we are going to add in our lye mixture. And the lye that we use, or sodium hydroxide, is a food grade lye, and it is very caustic, so you always wanna be careful. If anybody's ever seen Fight Club, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, very carefully, do your sodium hydroxide mixture, your lye mixture, you add it into your fats, and you'll see it starting to work right away. Now that we've added our lye mixture to the fats, now it's time to take our handy stick blender or an immersion blender. So we're gonna put it right in there, and then we're gonna start blending it on low speed. And you'll see how that lye mixture goes to work on the fats and begins this saponification process. Now that we've got this started mixing, we're going to add in our essential oils and the essential oil of ginger and orange. So this is gonna be our orange ginger soap. It's one of our more popular ones. And we're gonna blend this until it starts to thicken up, but it's still pourable. Got to keep a really close eye on it. And you can see that it's already starting to thicken up. And this is where we really got to work fast. We've got our molds right here. Now these molds I did uh, customize myself. These are custom molds that I made from acrylic. Now we're gonna look at this right here. We see what's called trace. So you can actually see where the drops happen because it still leaves a, an indention or a raised area. That's called light trace. And that's about as much as I wanna get it. It's thickness before I start to pour it into the soap molds. So these molds are custom made. I made them with a false bottom and it's got the holes in the bottom. And I am just going to pour the soap mixture right into the mold. We sell so much soap, I started making double batches now. They've become wildly popular. I will say the reason why I started making olive oil soap was when I first opened uh, seven years ago, we had a lot of customers that were asking for it. Being the man that I am, I thought, can't you just go to the grocery store and buy extra virgin olive oil soap that's all natural? And they said, no. So I started doing a lot of research and ordering soap online. And it's true, you can't get all natural soap uh, from anywhere. So we make our soaps right here, all natural. There's no additives, there's no uh, micro burls, there's no uh, additives to make it lather more or to make the bar harder. Uh, it's an all-natural soap, just like they made it hundreds of years ago. 
and we do ship this uh, soap all over the country. We have a lot of big followers for the soap and you can order it online uh, at www.thevirginoliveoiler.com and we'll ship it right out that day or the very next business day. So now that we've got it poured into our molds, we're gonna let this cure for 24 hours in the mold. And then the very next day we can unmold it and we'll cut it into bars. It's gonna sit on a drying rack for 30 days because this is a cold process soap. It does take 30 days to make. It's not a hot process soap that destroys the antioxidants found in the olive oil. All right, so uh, we've poured it into the molds and then we let it sit for 24 hours. And this is what it looks like after 24 hours sitting in the soap mold. So now it is firm enough to be able to take it out of the mold and cut it into bars and then let it cure for 30 days. All right, so as you can see, this is a, a mold that I designed. It's got six holes in the bottom and underneath the very bottom is gonna be a false bottom on this mold. And so I've got the whole loaf, if you will, of soap and I'm gonna put it onto this pusher that I had a friend make, a stainless steel. And then we've got this top it goes right on top of there. And then we have right here. Now, now this soap mold pusher um, was, a, was designed by one of my favorite customers. Uh, Howard, thank you very much. I'm getting a lot of use out of it. And you just put it on there and you just push straight down. And it pushes the soap right out of the mold. And there we have it. An unmolded loaf of soap. All right, and since the mold has that false bottom in it, I need to remove that mold, otherwise it won't cut through. Sorry, remove the false bottom. Just run a knife straight down the bottom of it. And there it is. And now we're ready to cut this into bars. And thanks to Howard, I've got a soap cutter. And you're gonna love this, this is really cool. All right, so now we have this wonderful contraption uh, that my good friend Howard made. This is so it's a lot easier and more uniform to cut our bars of soap. So we just open it up all the way. Take the whole loaf of soap, put it right on there. And go straight down. And it cuts it into perfect one inch thick bars of soap. Ta -da! Bar of soap. So now that we've got our soap cut into bars, we're just going to take it into the back and onto the drying rack and it's going to stay there and cure for the next 30 days. After 30 days, it's ready to use and this is a great face and body bar. Since it's all natural, there's no chemicals or preservatives or anything else in this bar of soap. Uh, very good and healthy for your skin, even babies. All right, so once the, the bars of soap have cured for 30 days, then we go ahead and we get some Florentine paper. This paper is absolutely beautiful. I have some customers that just use it for display in their spare bathroom. So we're just gonna wrap it up with some glue dots. Place it on there and every bar of soap is hand wrapped. So every bar of soap gets a label with the ingredient list on it. And on the back side, what flavor it is. This one is an orange ginger. My wife's favorite. It smells divine. And so our newest product is going to be a men's shave soap and it comes in a mug and also with a complimentary uh, shave brush. This is really nice. It's a different recipe than our uh, bar soap. Um, we also added in bentonite clay that helps the razor glide over the skin smoothly. All right, so um, everything that you saw today, all of our bath and body products that you see right here are all made in-house. They are made from scratch using our extra virgin olive oil and they are wildly popular. If you're not local and you'd like to get your hands on some of our soaps or salt scrubs or skin polishers, um, or bath salts, you can always order them online. We have shipments that go out every single day.